guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Brianna. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve a super cute top knot bun. Um, this can be super cute for a brunch, for a date, just whatever you want to do. And I'm also going to be showing you this makeup look. So if you're interested in seeing, then just keep on watching. So I wanted to do this video together just because a couple of people wanted to see how I do my makeup looks. Um, makeup videos don't do well on my channel. So I was just like, let me combine the two. And if you want to keep watching, um, then you have that option for sure. So I'm just going to put my hair up in a high ponytail. So I typically do my top knot buns on like um, dirty hair, hair that is kind of oiled weighed down so that it can stay. And also um, when I'm putting my edge control and stuff on, I don't typically like to do that when I first wash my hair. So yeah, this is um, definitely a style that I do on dirty hair dirty straight hair. So I'm just going to use my Evers edge control and um, you can go light on the baby hairs but I think I'm going to be a little bit extra. Make sure that your bun is combed out and smooth. And I also like to um, do my buns on like greasy hair because it stays better. And you don't really have to use a lot of bobby pins or anything like that. So you just, after you have it combed out like this, you want to twist, start twisting. So you're going to take it around one time, twist some more, and put this on the bottom and kind of lift up like I just did. And then wrap it until you can't wrap it anymore. So if you need to kind of shift it, you can for the most part. So I have this closed bobby pin that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to shift the bun where I want it. And then put the pin right there in the back. Just like that. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and let this all sit and do the finishing touches once I'm finished with my makeup. So if you want to see the rest of the bun tutorial, then go ahead and fast forward towards the end. But now I'm going to go ahead and get into some makeup. So I got some black opal from um, CVS or Walgreens. I don't think I've ever used black opal before. So I'm super excited to try it. This color might be a little bit dark. But that's okay because it's summer and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be outside a little bit more. So um. I'm sure I'll get darker. I got the color black walnut and black opal. So I like stick foundation a little bit better 
um, than liquid foundation. So let's see. It is a little bit too dark, but we're just gonna roll with it. It's not too, too bad. The consistency feels really nice. I just love cream foundations and it has a pretty good coverage. So guys, it actually looks pretty good. I really like the way that it is looking. It looks pretty good. It's not too dark. Like once I blend it all in, it looks really, really good. It looks like skin. It just covered a lot of my blemishes. Well, really all of my blemishes, it covered all of them. So I'm pretty impressed and I really, really like this foundation. So I am still using my Black Radiance Concealer number 8047. I think, um, I'm pretty sure I put them in my last makeup video where I used these. So I will just link that video or put the, um, the products in the description box. I'm gonna take my Elf, the words are kind of coming off. And this is like in a lighter color. I'm just gonna put this in the corners. A little bit down the bridge of my nose. Just to kind of brighten it up a bit. So I'm setting my um, under eye with my Ben Nye Topaz powder. Uh, I definitely want to try some translucent powders just to see how that works because I've always just used this one. Honestly, I've had this for so long. I don't even want to say how long I've had it, but it's working. So um, it does the job, but I definitely want to get like some more. So basically, I don't necessarily bake that much anymore. I just like press it in and that's it. I just don't like the harsh look that baking kind of brings if you don't do it right every time. And I don't know about you guys, but my consistency with like doing my makeup it's not that well because I don't do my makeup all the time. So sometimes I forget like the techniques that I use. So lately I have not been filling in my eyebrows and that is crazy to even think about because I am such like an eyebrow person. I absolutely love, love, love doing my eyebrows to perfection, but Lately, I've just been feeling like less is more. Even um, I would like watch tutorials of uh, Vanessa, is it? I don't know. I forgot her name, but I would watch her makeup tutorials and she does not fill in her eyebrows. So I'm like, oh, bet. I'm definitely not doing that, but I'll copy, you know, or try to implement her makeup habits as well because I just love her makeup. And I think one day I kind of forgot to fill in my eyebrows and I was just like, wow, I actually like this. So I haven't really been filling in my eyebrows today, but since I am doing like a inspired makeup look, I may do it just depending on how it's looking, but my eyebrows have been really growing in nicely these days, so I don't need that much filling in or anything, which is a blessing because I had to struggle eyebrows at one point, y'all. So yeah, that's all I really do is just underlying them with my e.l.f. concealer in Boom, that's it.
so i had to switch cameras so i'm sorry for the quality change you guys i have to get a new camera asap um the quality changed and i'm pretty sure the volume of my voice changed so like i said hopefully it's not too bad The finished look and I absolutely love this super cute top knot bun the makeup is hitting it's cute honey love it I didn't do anything else to the bun at all so it looks really cute I love the little swirl in the middle so if you want this exact look make sure you guys follow what I did in this video um, like I said, the makeup is definitely SZA inspired and if you guys want to see the unit that I put on with this is inspired look, then stay tuned. I will leave that video up in the cards. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah.